everybody welcome back to my channel today I'm going to reveal my favorite books of 2017 and this is going to double as a my favorite books since joining booktube <laughs> kind of video because I've been on booktube since the middle of May and all of these books happen to be books that I read since joining booktube now bear in mind this is not a video about books released in 2017. This is the video of my top books that I read in 2017. We even have a 2018 book on this list. <laughs> so first I'm going to start with the best thriller that I read in 2017. And I read a lot of thrillers. In fact, I would say that was my primary genre in 2017. So this happens to be the book that comes out in January of 2018. But the best thriller that I read in 2017 is The Wife of Between Us by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pacannon. I recently released a review video for this since I was provided the ARC copy from NetGalley. It is super good. Mostly because it's different. <laughs> Mostly because it's not a cookie cutter thriller, which I struggled with this year. It just felt like every thriller I picked up was the same. It was between The Wife Between Us and Behind Closed Doors, I think, for my favorite thriller. The Wife Between Us won out because it tends to be satisfying all the way through the book. And Behind Closed Doors is a really good thriller, but it doesn't get satisfying to the reader until pretty much the last page. The Wife Between Us eked it out. Next, the best horror novel that I read in 2017, hands down, 100% goes to Brother by Anya Alborn. I read this for my Happy Hall Read series back in October. It is amazing. I still think about this book. I still find my mind drifting off into rural West Virginia where the Morrows live and torture women. Next is my favorite book that I read in 2017 that I heard of through BookTube. I, I, I find books here and there that I think that I would like, either through conversation with my subscribers or from watching other BookTube videos, which is what happened here. My favorite book of 2017 that I heard of through BookTube is I'm Thinking of Ending Things by Ian Reid. I had never heard of this book before and I didn't even watch a review of it. I happened to see it on somebody's bookshelf tour video and they sort of sidebar commented how this was the scariest book they'd ever read. And I was like, well, I'm all over that. And so I picked it up and while I'm not going to say that I was terrified reading the book, I will definitely say that this book is creepy as sin. It's creeptastic. It is a, it is a suspense kind of horror novel where brother is brutal and graphic and plays with you on several different emotional levels. I'm thinking of ending things is all about building suspense where you know something is coming. You just can't figure out what it is and you're slowly but surely going to get more and more worked up about it. I highly recommend this book if you like that kind of suspense. Next, my favorite book, I'm kind of making these categories up by the way, but my favorite book that I read in 2017 that was by a debut author is The Punch Escrow by Mr. Tal M. Klein. This would also serve as the biggest surprise for me in 2017, so I'm not sure which way to go, but it was Tal M. Klein's first effort at writing a science fiction novel. It took him over 10 years to write it. It is saturated with super high techie world building and all those things. I just really liked this book. If you didn't catch my review video, it is about teleportation in the year 2147 and a, a really endearing and lovable narrator named Joel Barham. And it's humorous while being pretty advanced science fiction. So 
I was both surprised and really attracted to this book. I loved it. My favorite nonfiction book that I read in 2017 will probably come as no surprise to anyone. That is Hunger by Roxane Gay. I had a relationship with this book. Let me put it this way. I didn't even talk about this book on booktube. <laughs> Typically, if I really, really like a book, I will share it on BookTube. If I hate a book or don't like a book, I might not. There's been a lot of books that I've read that have been so disappointing and so not fun that I don't even want to make review videos about them because it just, ugh. But this was the first time that I came across a book that I absolutely loved that I couldn't stomach making a review video for it or a discussion video for it. And not because of anything bad. I just was so emotionally invested in this book. I, I, I found myself internalizing a lot of stuff in this book. It was so personal to me that talking about it in detail and in depth on BookTube would have put me on a level, on a vulnerability level that I, I wasn't quite comfortable with. So... You guys probably didn't even know that I read this book this year, but I did. I read Hunger by Roxane Gay in 2017 and hands down most favorite nonfiction experience. Finally, the last made up category that I have for my favorite reading experiences of 2017 is series. My favorite series that I read in 2017 is this sucker right here. The Girl in 6E, If You Dare and Do Not Disturb by A.R. Torrey. This book has been semi-popular on BookTube. I'm sure a lot of people know about it. But I read these three books after hearing or seeing Lily C. Reads talk about The Girl in 6E. After I finished The Girl in 6E, I had to immediately read the next two books. Like There was no chance in hell that I was missing out on the experience of all three books. This is a great series. It is also a series that struck me, you know, took me by surprise because they're erotic thrillers. The main character of these books is an internet cam girl. It's very explicit and graphic all the way through the series. <laughs> and that's not what was surprising. What was surprising is that books like that could still be so emotionally touching. And when I got to the third book in the series and I was bawling my eyes out, I knew that this was a winning experience. So I did do a series review for these books very, very early on when I started BookTube. So it is probably freaking terrible, but I will leave it linked because why not? So those are my favorite books that I read in 2017 or my favorite reading experiences of 2017. Tell me if you agree, disagree, or if there is something that you read in 2017 that you think I should take a look at in 2018, because I would be more than happy to do so. But there you go. There's your last shot of all of my favorites from this year. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all very soon.